Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Luther FM, and I'm currently managing Everton. When you left us last, we were um, 10 points clear, top of the table, 56 points. And we just, I've just forwarded it a few days before I start this episode to um, January the 1st. So we've um, sent Deli Ali on loan to Portsmouth because he needed some first team football. We sold Josh Major and um, Diacore both to Sunderland. Stoke have bought Lewis Gibson off us. And we've signed a few of these players. I will just quickly go through them in a second once I've done this. Uh, do that, do that. Sign them their squad numbers. Welcome them to the club. Uh, and he finished last one. There we are. So here's the players that have come in. Got this player here, um, Asadini Yunahi, who we signed for 3 million from Marseille. Um, already valued at up to 14 million. Only 24 years old. Plenty of time for him to progress and get better. Best role is a advanced playmaker. We've signed Manchester United's highly rated youngster, Omari Horson. We're now going to try and extend that on loan, hopefully. Um, signed him for one million. Uh, could be a bargain price at the end of the day. His best role is a shadow striker, which is a role that we play in our team. So hopefully he can do very well there. We managed to get this player here called Vincent Bellet. Signed in for 1.1 million from Lil, and uh, he'll provide us with decent cover. And he's also very young, so I might just send him out on loan for the rest of the, the rest of the season. Um, who else we've got? Nandez, who I signed ages ago, um, but he's just come in January, so he's a very good, experienced Uruguay international, can play in several positions. Signed him for 6.75 million from Calgary. His best role is ball winning midfielder, defender, which is a role that we can play in and a lot of times in the games. And we've also signed Emmanuel Ayu, um, Australian player, sorry, Austrian player, uh, wide centre back. Signed him from Cremonese for 5.25 million. So, yeah, so hopefully some of these will. First team football this season, some of them will get first team football elsewhere for the season and then we'll assess the situation in the summer, see whether any of them are worth keeping, any worth just getting rid of. Sometimes it's, it's good just to get a player, sign him cheap and then sell him on for profit. Yeah. Nobody wants Tommy Conway, which is a bit annoying. We'll keep trying. Uh, most people want him on loan. What we'll do is we'll go mandatory fee, send him out on loan, and we'll do five minutes. Huh? Yep, I'm happy with that. So we're also a uh, uh, director of football decided to go for this player here, Luca Di Maggio. Can't imagine he's going to be in the first team at any point, but he'll probably be good for the under twenty ones and reserves. We'll just go do squad registration. Yeah. Right, so we're now playing Bristol City away. First game of the episode. See what we can do. A lineup for the uh, for this game: Patson in goal, Godfrey, Chuanzevi, and Ayu. So Ayu makes his debut. His regular role is a wide centre back, so that's good. Um, we've got Nandez here as right back. He is not usually a right back, so put him as wing back defend. Wing back defend. Yeah. Callum in his usual role as wing back on the left. Career, uh, Garner as a Carrillo, and then Carney as a Misala, both in their regular roles. Lavambo on the wing with Adosi and Marshall up front. So Awu makes his debut. Hopefully, and Nandez as well. Hopefully they can uh, 
set the world on fire straight away. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the, there'll be a good improvement to the team that we've already got. We've got the first highlight, a corner. Carney now. Callum. Passes it back to Garner. Garner with the cross, I think. It was a pass or something. Um, the goal won't stand, though. No VAR in the championship, so it's uh, it goes one way or the other. Yeah. Where's the team? See how it's gone. Started a um, offline save with Renz in the French League. I'm going to do it as a youth only save where I don't sign any players and just bring players through their academy. So that'll be, that'll be exciting. Martial with the first goal. Martial, former Leon. Um, was he originally at Renz? I don't know if he was. Uh, Leon and then Monaco. For some reason, I thought he started at Renz in their youth system, but yeah. yeah. Martial scoring another goal. Proving to be a shrewd signing by us. Addison with the goal kick. Austin McCallum. Beautiful little... Oh, no, it wasn't. Yeah, Bristol City was on top of that. Hopefully that we can get rid of this. Yeah, we defend it well. Got a throw. Players are already knackered. McCallum, McCallum and... Carney already look like they need to be substituting, which is not good when we're only played 35 minutes. We need to rest some players after this game. Okay. Luckily, because we've made a few signings, we can uh, rotate a little bit more. We'll probably bring in some more players in the window as well. Sandbell, supposed to be pretty good, Sandbell, isn't he? Uh, is he a Bristol City player? Yeah. We'll scout him, see how we get on. One one. We started strong, but Bristol City's become more dominant as the game's gone on so far. Good, good tackle by Carney, but goes straight to the air player. We nick it back off them though. McCallum, Carney, Garner now. He looks up, past the Lavumba, Lavumba to Marshall, Marshall. A great goal. Great little link up there between um, Garner to Lavumbo and then to Martial. Martial with the second of the game. Got one, two, three, four players that look absolutely knackered. But we're just going to wait as long as we possibly can. Um, we'll just take off him. So, Nahi makes his debut for Everton. Hopefully, he will impress us. and Zebi now to the ball cross to Goffrey Goffrey forward to Unani Nari sorry Martial he can become provider now passes it in Lovumbo finds up the shot over right time to make some substitutions Josie you deserve a break so you're coming off Arnie you're coming off uh um, you off as well. Right, that's that. Can't, I don't think we can take anybody else. Oh, we can. Lumbo. Got Tyrese Campbell. There we go. That's it now. Fresh. Goffrey's not good, but you'll, have to, you'll just have to power on Goffrey. Um, but yeah, 2 1 up still. We turn things around, but there's still time for Bristol City to get an equaliser, so. Hope this highlight will turn into a goal for us and we can relax a bit then. Beautiful pass to Marshall. Is he going to get his hat trick? Oh, Jesus. Come on, Marshall. The, you know, should have scored that, mate. All lined up nicely for you to get your hat trick. Still got time there. By the way, um, thank you for everybody that's been subscribing so far and watching the videos. I do appreciate it. Please leave me comments. Let me know one way or another what you like or don't like about the videos so it's you know stuff i can either do more of or stuff i can stop doing as much as i do too um but yeah just let me know i do appreciate it and thank you for you like i said thank you for everybody who's been watching so far and also on twitch as well lucha fm on twitch currently in the third season with newcastle united started very strong 
managed to sign a few really, really good players, and I mean really good. So um, that result wasn't really good. That was a bad result for us. We're still eight points clear, so we're not going to complain too much. We can afford to lose a few points here and there, as long as we don't go on an absolute really bad losing streak. We can rest some players in this FA Cup match, even though it's important, but we're playing late in Orange, so even with, a, even with a rotated side, we should be in. But it is the FA Cup, anything can happen. So uh, we'll see. It'll be interesting to see. All right, welcome back to the second part of the episode. Um, where we left off here, we drew 2 2 Bristol City, and Nandez made his debut. Marshall um, playing well. He got two goals in that game. Should have won that game, really, but you know, it is what it is. We've um, made an offer for Marcel Ratnik. Young Slovenian defender. Um, we sent a few. We've had an offer, decent offer, sir, for decent offer, Tommy Conway. Well, which we've accepted. We've signed a new contract with the club as well. If you last saw us, and going through this, we got Peyton Orient in the next game. Um, we get, we rejected a few offers from Conway, including a loan offer. And Norton Cuffey is back. So we're playing Lay and Orient now in the next game. And we are picking a rotated um yeah, picking a rotated squad for this. So we've got Basuno in goal, Porteus and Tuazembe and Barangia in the centre of defence. Norton Cuffey comes back as right uh wing back. That is that's position here it is. Um Timon is a complete support um, Rodoni is box midfielder put him in there box box midfielder um I think he's a Masala any Masala yeah and we've got Grant uh Arlen Grant and inside forward support so we'll change that yeah Conway is more of a not really a winger as a striker, any, but he can play as an inside forward as well, so we'll do that. And Campbell is advanced forward, so that's that. All right, here we go. Let's crack on and see how we get on. We've got a fairly good team that should be able to beat Leighton Orient. I'm not saying that they will because it's the FA Cup, but we should be okay. See how it goes. Yeah, let's see how we get on. Got the first highlight of the game. I sent it around nicely between our defence to our midfield. Norton Cuffey already making a good impression with a beautiful pass. Rodoni misses there. He's on the transfer list. We've had a few offers for Rodoni, so um, hopefully he'll get some more interest if he performs well in this game. Still nil nil after 12 minutes. Got another highlight. Hyman gets absolutely crucified there. Um, hopefully the player will get sent off. Yes, he does. That will hopefully make it a little bit easier for us against Leighton Orient. I do find it funny that time and average rate and just uh, match rate and just went up because he got fouled. That's quite funny. And went back down again there. Yeah, Leighton Orient have had, uh, seem to be the slightly better team, despite the fact that they've got a man down. Could be. Uh, we'll see. Right, we've got a corner. Rodoni, a beautiful little corner. Not to be missed. Yeah. Disappointing. I thought we would, even with this rotated team, I thought we would be winning by now. Um, hopefully this highlight will provide us a goal. Carney, Norton Cuffey. We've missed him on that right on that right wing. Yeah, crosses it in. Header out. Header again. Oh. Campbell fails to get on top of it. Campbell and Grant need to be playing a lot better in the second half or else they're coming off. Might need to take Carney off as well because he's a bit knackered. We'll see. I like to let in Orient. We... No, I thought we were going to get that then. Um, they... That was a really rubbish pass. I don't know why they did that for. That is annoying. We should not be losing to Leighton Orient with the man down. 
even with a rotated team. They're going to come out of this firing on all this, and there's now that's going to hopefully it's going to work in our favor, and the players are going to be absolutely annoyed. Like Norton Cuffey with the pro in on way, uh, Portius to Beringia, Bering, Bering, oh, I can't, Beringua, Beringua. There we go. Uh, Conway, come on, let's get something out of this now. Bodoni with a beautiful pass and a beautiful goal by Tyrese Campbell. Tyrese Campbell, player I was looking to take off a minute ago. Now I won't. Yeah, right, okay. The man more now. We shouldn't be losing. Um, shouldn't be drawing, sorry. Arnie's coming off after this free kick. Nicely defended by them. Unahi is coming on. Unahi. What's his name? Unahi. Right. Um, Grant. Unzevi. Tries it forward. Conway. Unzevi. Building nicely. We're still not winning though, so we need to. Well, that sops a bit. Oh, beautiful little pass, Campbell. Yes. Good. I was worried we were going to get embarrassed here. Right, Norton Cuffy, you're tired and you've not been playing very well, so. And we'll take you off. We'll take Grant off as well, who's not impressed. Lido on. Lido on. Porteous is tired as well, so we'll take him off, and we can't, we'll, we'll just put Knight in there. He'll be a makeshift defender for now. I've got, we had ranking and Stella then. Uh, Tyman. Oh. Man more. Not ha I want us to get a couple more goals in this game. We're winning, that's all that matters, but performance has not been good enough as far as I'm concerned. Certain players have fortunately not done very well, which is a shame for Beringuru made his debut. Hopefully he can get better as he gets older. He's only 16 or 17 now. Campbell, beautiful little bit of control there. Races past their defenders. And he do. Beautiful over the top cross to Lado. Lado. There we go, Rodoni scores. Hopefully that'll get the um team making offers for him. Yeah, nice little result to uh in the second part of the first episode. Gonna do a couple more episodes this weekend. So um you'll get one tomorrow and you'll get one Monday. Uh, just let anybody know who's regularly watching me on Twitch. I won't be Twitch streaming on Monday, but I will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. Yeah, so you'll have plenty of adventures with Newcastle. Try and get season three done next week, and then I can start a new save on Twitch uh, the week after. Probably going to do, I keep going back and forth, but I'm probably going to do the Journeyman save. Right, and we'll be back with the third and final part of episode of the episode. We're back for the third part of the episode. Um, where you left off just now was we beat Peyton Orient 3 1 thanks to goals from uh, Rodoni was one of them, I remember that or Rodoni, however you pronounce his name. And Tyrese Campbell got two goals. So yeah, so since uh I've gone a bit forward just for the next game. I'll just quickly go through the news items with you, see if there's anything I need to tell you that's significant. Um, not really at the moment. So, um, so Tommy Conway went to Blackburn. No, he didn't, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't bear with this. Right, so we signed Gabriel Sara, um, or Sara, however you pronounce his name, from Norwich. A very good player. We signed him for 16 million. I think he'll. Double that value by the time we finish. Um, yeah, so a very good signing for us. And we 
successfully managed to get the ball to give it, get us more stat. Sent out job adverts for that. Deli Ali got sent off in the Portsmouth game. Not the best to start. And we had a loan offer for Ellis Sims. I've now offered him out um, because he hasn't progressed how I would like him to. So he's going. Um, Jordan James got recall because of the lack of games he was getting at Birmingham. So we are, we'll look to try and loan him out again. Um, Pugmao went to Inter Milan instead of us, which is was, which was expected. Uh, what else? Playing Ipswich in the FA Cup next round. We, went, we did actually try and sign this player, but he rejected us, so he's not coming to us. Uh, Marshall was in the Championship Team of the Week. We signed Coco Seto. Seto. Um, yeah, Koki Seto. Uh, but yeah, should be a good signing for us. Sign him. What else happened? Brian Kidd's going to retire at the end of the season, same as Kevin O'Brien. Nobody wants to go for Jordan James, but I think that's to do with the percentage thing. So I just need to do this and then do that off there. Hopefully we'll get some offers for him now. Um, we signed Luigi, sorry, the DOF signed Luca Di Maggio. We signed him from Inter for 44k. Or for, uh, 44k. Just from out on loan. Season. Season. Um, Jack Radoni went to St Mirren with an optional future fee of 1.6 and they will be paying 1.7 million in instalments. We got received 1 million for Richard Richard the deal. And we signed Marcel Ratnik. Signed him. Anthony L. Anthony. Marshall was happy that we've improved the defence. We've also signed this player. Um, the DOF went for him, and I completely forgot about it. I probably just... I mean, he's a good goalkeeper. He's probably, probably the best goalkeeper we've got, really. I don't really want to not play um, Pilkinson. Is it Pilkinson? Rock? Who's our goalkeeper now? Uh, yeah, Patterson. Sorry, Pilkinson, Patterson, same thing. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what our assistant manager decides to do. We'll leave him in charge of team selection. Yeah, we signed him on the free. Uh, gone for a youngster from Mpika. Yeah, Tommy Conway went to West Brom in the end. Uh, I think that's it now. We've got QPR next. Om Omari Forson has gone to Aberdeen on loan. He went for goalkeeping coach. bellet has gone... On loan to Kilmarnock. The Scottish League taking advantage of our youngsters there. Right. Get on with the next game. UPR. We've got Patterson in goal. Godfrey, Porteous and Momo in defence. Laird as wingback. He is better as a complete wingback. Uh, Callum McCallum is better as a wing bar. Support. Um, yep. Carney's in his favourite position. We need to change him to a Carrillo. Change him to a winger. Into a winger as well. And uh, yep, Marshall is in his third role as an advanced forward. Let's see if Marshall can continue to get the goals in. He has currently got 15 goals in 19 games. Very impressive. We had any clubs after him? No, thank God for that. Hopefully we'll keep him for when we get promoted to the Premiership, which hopefully we still will, unless there's a catastrophe. All right, so we've got the first highlight. Carney with the ball now after the corner from Garner. Back to Garner. Garner will he shoot? He does, but gets straight in the goalkeeper's hands. Dosi spreads it across to Carney. Carney out wide, but this is the pass, but we get it back. Godfrey loses it. Uh, Marshall there. Right. Still got possession though. Marmer, see what we can do from here. Come out from the uh, play from the back. Garner, after Porteous. 
with Umbo with a lovely little pass to Laird. Laird drives it forward with his pace. Great cross to Martial. Martial with his 16th goal of the season. What we like to see. Laird with the Perina. Vumbo. Don't know how that stayed in, but we're not going to argue with that. Dosi now with his ninth goal of the season. Uh, assist for Lovumbo. Doing very well against QPR. They seem to be the team that we uh, beat. We, we thrashed them the game before, I think, as well. Played them before and we beat them 6 or 7 now, I think. Can't remember for definite. Right, throw in to us. Laird. Carney back to Laird. Lovumbo gives it to Carney. Nice little bit of passing going on here. Oh, okay. I don't know what he was trying to do there. Yeah, we're doing well. And uh, we've got two new wins, so we can relax a bit. Right, Laird. Lovumbo. Offering drives it forward. Beautiful little cross. Saved by their goalie, though. Right, so that's in the first half, 2 0. We're happy with that. Let's try and get another couple of goals there. Um, we're still 10 points ahead, or 11 points, sorry, ahead of Sheffield United now. We should be. This is the easy part this season. This season, getting back up into the Premiership is the easy part. That's why I was trying to be clever with the signings to make sure that we signed mostly young players that can progress as we progress. Hopefully that will work in our favour with a few experienced pros. Next season we'll... I don't know what we're going to do with our transfer policy. Um, we might just stick with what we've got and then see if we can improve as we go along. Like I said, we've got some very good players in McCallum and Jordan Cuffey and players like that that can make the step up to the Premiership. They're still young, they can still progress. Vumbo as well, I'm looking forward to see him and Adosi, see how they get on. Uh, Martial, he's got a redemption arc in his story. He, he needs to prove the Premiership. He can be a terrific scorer there. I've got a feeling if, if we do well in the Premiership next season that he'll probably be top one of the top goal scorers, at least in the Premiership. do a bit of tinkering here we put Nandez on um, he likes to play as a ball winning midfielder so we'll do that like this up right Marshall McCallum to Adosi Laird Uh, their goal kick. I think we're just settling with a 2 0 win by the looks of it. You never know. There's still time. Callum. Rodosina. Drives it across. Oh, Laird. See what he can do. And he, oh, he gets fouled. I think that's a penalty. Marshall lines it up. Can he get his second goal of the game? He can. 3 0. Another brace for uh, Marshall. Definitely doing better than I thought he would. I know he'd score goals, but I didn't think he scored as many goals as he has. And I didn't think he'd play as many games as he did. I thought he'd get us like 15 goals and be injured for half the season because of the little injuries he picks up. But he's done really well. Worked really hard. And he's like I said, he's doing really well. I'm really, really happy with that signing. Didn't cost me a penny. Uh, he like, he's on a significant wage, but he deserves it with the goals he's scoring. So, yeah, we'll be back for the last part of the episode coming up soon. We're back for the last part of the episode, and we'll just, uh, the, uh, when you last saw us a second ago, we beat QPR 3 0 with two goals from Martial and Adosi, I think he scored. Um, Go through as I I, used, I went forward and for the next game. 
So we'll just go for anything significant. Um, I had a few rubbish offers for Sims that I've accepted just to get him off the top of the book. Another rubbish loan offer for uh, uh, Idea. Nothing really. Another, another offer for Idea. You had uh, Godfrey, Laird, and Marshall in the Championship Team of the Week. Elanini's back from injury. Garner's out for five to eight days. Cuffy's out for a few days as well. Um, I think that's not much else. Oh, there is a, there is a bit actually. Um, I've had a loan offer for Cal uh, Cavalina, who is now fourth choice, choice. So we decided to accept it because get him out of the way. Um, we've made an offer for this player here, Christine. Christian Medina been accepted. Uh, McCallum is out for five to eight days with a bruised head. Rejected an offer for Tyman because he's our second, he's our backup left back basically. We haven't got anybody better than him at the club, so we're just keeping there. Especially with McCallum, a few injuries. Right then, so we're now playing. Uh, Swansea in the last game of the episode and we've got Hassan in goal Godfrey, Porteous and Momo Laird and Norton Cuffey Arnie and Anini who is a uh, ball winning yep. so, uh, and then the usual three up, up front let's see how it goes Oh, so a lovely little free kick in the first minute of the game, first two minutes of the game. El Nini lines it up. Is he going to go for a goal here? I think he will at this from this distance. Good chance of scoring. He does. El Nini, coming a bit of a set piece specialist for us. I don't think I've ever known him to be one to take free kicks. Is he? Is he a free kick? This? No, eight in free kicks. I mean. That just tells you everything you need to know. Okay. Um, maybe I'll look to buy Ward Prowse in the summer. I'm back in the Premiership. Hopefully, he'll come to us. Yeah, one nil up. The uh, three minutes gone. We are now essentially eleven points ahead of Cardiff. We're building a nice little gap at the moment. We very rarely lose. I don't think we've lost many in the league. I think we've only lost once or twice. Porteous there, knocking it back nicely to Godfrey. Godfrey back to Porteous. Porteous cross to Marmo. Marmo. Porteous. Porteous getting a lot of the ball in this game by the looks of it. He seems to be doing all right. Norton Cuffey. I think we're just playing um, some people playing me on FIFA when they just knock it back and forth. There we go. Great little goal by Carney. Blasted it into the top corner. Nice pass to uh, nice pass from Lubumbo to set him up as well. 2 0 up. We like to see. The first half coming up. Any other highlights? Oh, we got one more highlight. Must be 3 0. Really put an end to the game. It does. Adosi. 3 0. Right, we can relax in the second half. Uh, I'll praise the players in a second when I get a chance. Hold on. Take Carney off in a minute though, because he's getting a bit tired. And Norton Cuffey's taking a knock, so we'll take him off as well. Be on the safe side. Take Carney off. But. We've got any midfielders, but okay. Okay, Laird. Up to uh, Nandez. Nandez loses the ball. Offrey, back to Nandez. Loops it over. Elanini. A beautiful shot. Another beautiful goal by Elanini. Is he good at long shots? 14, I suppose he is. I suppose that's why he's probably good at free kicks, isn't he? Depending on where it is. Oh, yeah. 
pull nail off, screws in. I'm going to say no pressure to the player so they can relax. They've just scored, so maybe that will come back to bite us in the arse. Ah, same player. Give him a captain, see if he's any good. 29 years old though, so probably won't bother. Right, we've slapped a bit here now, so I should, it was my fault. Saying no pressure, I will take the blame for that. Fortius, you need to come out your ass. Do not want to concede another goal. It would be really embarrassing in this episode. Um, we end up drawing or losing this game after being 4 0. Man ball. Okay, let's kill this game off. Yes, that's more like it. Normal service has resumed. Well done, Dosi. 11 goal of the season, sorry, I think. Still two now, so we have nine before. Yeah, 11 goal of the season. The problem is with these players is whether they're going to be good enough for the Premiership. They're good enough in the Championship at the moment because the quality of players are probably, probably like a step above them. But are they good enough for the Premiership? We'll have to wait and see. I'm hoping so. I hope. I reckon Dosi is, and I reckon um, um, Norton Cuffey is as well. Um, probably McCallum. I don't know if any of the others are. All right, we'll take off a Dosi and Godfrey. Then a rest. Take anybody else off? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we are taking off a Dosi, aren't we? Oh, okay. I think it's because the uh, the game's all right. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Go see. Oh, because we took off. Anyway, doesn't matter. Right, five two. There we go. Got a uh, top of the the flash next against Sheffield United. I think they're second or third at the moment. Uh, Zito Lombombo has been a really good signing for us. Look at that, 36 to 40 million now he's rated at. Cost us 21 million. At the time, 21 million was a lot of money to be paying for him. He's definitely, definitely proved us wrong. Um, if we get a 62 million minimum fee falls in as well, so that'll help us protect him, protect our interest. Um, that's a shame. Norton Cuffey out again. Picking up injuries left, right, and center now. Right, Ellis Sims is off. Let me just have a look before we go. See how many injuries he's got? Three injuries. He's had he's been up five weeks, three weeks, four days, um, and zero another three weeks as well. Right, that's the end of the episode. We'll be back soon. Um, back tomorrow with the next episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you have. Um, if you haven't subscribed already. Why aren't you subscribing? Can't even say the word. There we go. Anyway, have a nice evening. All the best. Enjoy your weekend.